Hey everyone, it's Retro Gaming now, and we're back with Fate the Traitor Soul. And we are moving through Durantia. Um, and I want to get some level 25 quests. Let me see. I've already got a couple, so let's check for some more. Alright. So we got three quests. Um, as we always do, we'll go ahead and see if there's anything worth gambling for. I don't know if there's going to be. I want to take a closer look at these Ghost Valkyries. It just looks so cool. I haven't seen one live, but uh, yeah, anyway. Um, well, it's definitely better. I don't have the strength for it, unfortunately. Yeah, right now we've been kind of... Um, that's really expensive for not a lot. Um, anyways, we're trying to increase our magic a little bit. But um, I think... Uh, yeah. It's it's going to be a balancing act, trying to decide if I want to go with strength or magic. I'd probably at some point like these to be about equal, which they are now. But, uh, you know, we'll see if that ever happens. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have very quick spell casting speed, though, which I always enjoy. And these guys are here for four minutes, so we can, uh, <clears throat> Head down to the dungeon. Once the master quest is complete, you can choose not to retire and continue on by deep diving. Hmm. I don't know. Deep delving, excuse me. Well, there's something still alive, but I don't care. Elite and legendary items are much more powerful than their m mundane counterparts. However, these items require fame to wield. Yeah, I'm not sure we've got any. We have seen them. They're the ones that have the, uh... The little, um metal by it, like we see elite and legendary uh, monsters. But there are elite and legendary items, which we've seen, I just don't think I've pointed them out. Ooh, this is a big level. Um, I do have this. Let's see if it works. It does. How about that? We're right there. Well, that was easy. Um, <laughs> I didn't even have to use the spell, but uh, I did anyway. Okay. There's about 2.1 billion dungeon floors if you choose to go deep delving. Hmm. There's a boss right off the bat. Alright. Alright, take out this elite timber wolf. There we go. One by one, we got an elite quick sand tarrant. These guys were never that powerful. He should be just about dead, I would think. Yep, there we go. Now we gotta take out the boss. Unless there's someone here I missed. We need some defensive magic. And I'm going to have to heal myself. Do I have coffee by any chance? No, I don't. But uh, that Roach King is after me. Oh, yeah. Um, didn't I have a new spell I was going to try out? So, go to book. There was the... Uh, what is that? Confusion, yeah. Let's uh, see what that does. Failed. The spell could not be completed. Mm, I guess it doesn't work, does it? No matter. Alright, we're almost done with the Roach Kings. These are the guys that are going to target me straight, and then we can go on to the boss. Turk, Turk Pike the Stalker. Seems pretty weak. There we go. Biz. I can't pick it up. I don't know where it is on the ground. There we go. So there's one quest down. Pretty straightforward. Moving on. 
Do I want to enchant something? Let's enchant this. Nothing happens. Alright, let's take out this Roach King over here. My minions and their minions do your job. Yeah, I'm going to start using the... I always forget to use the um, space attack, but it seems to be pretty powerful. I read in the uh, one of the hints, it does double your regular attack damage. So, that's going to end up being um, quite a bit, actually, because I do 100, so it's going to be 200. And for stamina. Who uses stamina? I mean, especially when you're fighting, stamina is just... Just kind of there, you know. Replenish it so quickly, it doesn't go down very fast. And, you know, might as well give some use to it. One thing that would be cool is if these, um... These ghost Valkyries, uh, which are disappearing, by the way, if they could cast defensive heal spells so that they could heal me <laughs> and the other party members. I know that's a lot to ask. That would be interesting, though. If... Okay. Heal my pet. Heal myself. And move on. the stairs. Oh, I thought that was a boss. I guess not. Okay. So let's see what's in this room. I saw a brooch spawn over there. There's a bunch of them. And a plant. Gotta go up here. Coffee. Elite battle bore. Okay, there's someone bow casting nearby. I don't see who it is. Let's take out this. Ah, Nagra King. Let's get this battle bore out of the way. We don't want to bite off more than we can chew, as always. These Valkyries are quite good, though. Even against two kings. So I'm going to switch sp Spectral Armor. Get in there. Even with the Crushing Resistance, I still seem to do a decent amount of damage to him. You know, and I wonder how the rage attack, um, like, how is it calculated if it hits or not? Is it with regular attack, stat, or anything, something different? I don't know. Just about done with this guy. He does a lot, has a lot of HP, it seems, uh, but doesn't seem to deal a lot of damage. So we leveled up, and again, I want to get my magic and strength to be at the same. So I'm going to put that up to 50. 14, 7, so we got 17. So we'll get that up to 16, which is about the same. Alright, so we got everything over here. We can go down here. We got a legendary Nautiloid Invoker. Is that what it is? Apprentice. Legendary or not, they're weak. 
Elite the Vagabond. Okay, how about that? We found an elite rare item. So you, so you can see it's got the little shield or the little thing there. And it requires um, a certain s strength. It might... Mm, it's a possibility that it's better than the one I've got. I'll check that out once I return to town. But, uh... Yeah. Queen B. Seems like she likes to flee a lot. Well, we'll come back for it. Might as well take out the, the weed. Pull out the weed whacker. Oh, Queen B's back. Goodbye. Uh, my ghost Valkyries are disappearing. Oh, there's two Queen Bees. That's the thing. Well, at least I can get the slightly upgraded ones, level 40, because of the two bonus points I put in. And we have just enough mana now where I can summon all six in a row. I think uh, moving up, or moving forward, I'm going to need to do a little bit more defensive magic skill. I haven't used any offensive magic. Wow, another elite rare item. I mean, that's a lot worse, but uh, interesting. Two elite rare shields. You know, I'm not sure what this lost control thing that happens is. Um, if in if I'm like supposed to lose control of my summons or something, who knows? Regardless, these guys are just bad against. Um, physical damage. Yeah, certainly when I get up with next to next one with my mace, uh, there's not a lot they can do. Um, we'll do my quick heal, or excuse me, defense. Um, I don't want that. Waste of space. The zombies. There's a boss. Grave Slicer the Bloody. That's a good name. The random name generator does some good ones, and I think Grave Slicer the Bloody is a good one. Again, though, these guys are just. The Malanian, I think that's what they're called, Malanian warriors, or that whole class, they're just not... Whoa. What is that? There's not that good cyber necklace. Man, I want to wear one of these. It's like that cyber belt. Let's identify it. It's not that good. But it's cool. Eventually, I can probably find one of those that uh, fits me, because that's definitely what my uh, character's supposed to be using. In my pet a little bit. That's been doing alright so far. <clears throat> Earth Biter's Holy Swift Brace Halberd of Lords. Obviously, we need to find that. Hmm. <laughs> Double kill. Got him in the corner. Get down. See, knockback is one of those things that's pretty nice just to have. Just gives you a little bit more room. Do I need to attack this shrine or defend it? Defend it. Uh, the problem is there's zombies coming after it, and uh, we got summoned zombies. So I bet you if I just stand here and heal my guys, it's not gonna matter. 
He'll survive. Or it will survive. Yep, and I'm right. This hasn't even taken damage yet. There's just not enough space for the zombies to get there. We can do this. I think it would be cool if you could uh, adjust the viewpoint a little bit down. Just so you can see better. Oh, I'm going to need some more. Well, the shrine survived. So there's a quest done. That should be all the quests, right? Nope. Humphrey's quest. Oh, well, that's the thing we saw. Alright, let's take out these zombies. There it is. Pet, do me a favor. <clears throat> Pet, do me a favor. Where are you? It's probably trapped. We'll go for it so it'll teleport over. Okay. Pet. Thank you, and there's all three quests. So we'll just finish out the level and move on. This should take us right back around. Um, the offensive magic, like the slow that they use, is pretty nice, though. I enjoy that. It, the thing is, like with magic, there's just so much you can do, so it, it oftentimes you kind of forget everything that your character can do. How about that? It's Getz. Oh, uh, there's a Rook Ron Hook Rook down there. Um, but we can sell some stuff. 18% improved chance of block. That's pretty good. Um, but the 17 magic bones I need until I get my magic back up. So we'll sell that. Nah, that's not doesn't sell for a whole lot. Goodbye. Don't know why I have that. Minus one damage, thank you. Impossible. Oh, we already got that. This uh, spectral crossbow, which is my favorite. The invalids. 18 damage, take an increase. Goodbye. Slowness. Um, bring this stuff over. That hook run's about to get me. But everything pauses when I'm in a store, so that's nice. Now that's pretty good. That's worth 187,000. That's uh, like a low tier rare item. 14 dexterity, 14 strength. That's that's very good. Um, so I don't know. That might be worth uh, selling. We'll check and see what the quest is for. Elite the zealot, 71,000. Get out of here. Sort. I can't remember what the elixir potion does. I'm still not sure because it's not. Or is this the, the one that's both mana and, whatever health? No, that's the rejuvenation potion. I don't know. Maybe I'll show up and tip sometime. Okay, let's take down this uh, hook rook. All right, gotta keep healing, of course. Thankfully, I've actually got a decent heal spell. I'm telling you, we faced bosses that have less HP and just staying power than that guy. I was a Timberwolf, I didn't even see it. Because there's so much stuff going on. Okay. So that should be it for this level. Let's head on to the exit. And we will move on back to town. Alright. Town portal. We're going to have to buy a new book soon. Half-orc race is known to have great powers in the art of combat. Okay. So let's check our quest real quick. Retrieve the Braced Halberd. Yeah, we're going to cancel that one. Yep. 
I'm going to sell this for quite a nice profit. Goodbye. Um, we'll sort that and get the rest of our quests. We still might level up from these. Looks like we're not quite. That was a very low amount of each or XP we got from that. Okay, we're going to skip a level again because that seems to be working, so we're going to get some 27 quests. So let's check on Uh We'll do that because that's free. The escort quests are easy. And then we get, get, can get two 27 quests. Legendary Mature Rokrons. Well, they're Rok Mature Rokrons, so I'm not worried about that. It's the Hulk Rok Rokrons that are a pain to deal with. Uh, okay. We can... 56? Nope. Okay. What do we want here? Too bad I'm not an axe user. We need a new mace, maybe? 40? So that's a little better. But it's slow, so I think no normal is going to be better. The quad mace. Need more strength. Warlock staff looks really cool. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think once again we don't really need anything, do we? So, we're not going to buy anything. Alright, so let's uh, reset and get some quests. You know, one problem with this game is that it gets a little repetitive. You know, it's just, it's just kind of dull sometimes. Ooh. So this requires magic, okay. It's, it's definitely better than what I've got, but uh... Becal. 32 magic. Hmm, that's a good def defense. Um, considering... Yeah, what it costs. 32 magic. See, it's way better than that. I don't know why that is. Um, yeah, we're kind of in that awkward stage right now where we're investing in both magic and strength, and so we're not really able to upgrade to anything at this point. I do would, would do kind of want to have a cyber belt at some point because I think it fits my Cogger character. But I'm not sure right now is the time. I must ask you something. No. 27 is what I want. Good. Alright, and back into the dungeon we go. We have a quick escort mission, which we'll, we don't have to worry about. Because we're already here. And we can mental map our way to the next place. And we don't have to face any enemies because none show up. Alright. These guys are going to disappear pretty soon. So, might as well wait it out. Okay. Well, we need to face these guys. There's one down. Were there eight of them? In fact, it says something about being able to track quests, but uh, I, don't, I don't know how to do that. Or even what that does. So we'll uh, scout a perimeter. Pico. Is it Rico or Pico? Pico. Rico's the enchanter. So let's see if we can get a better thing to upgrade my pet to. 
Just look for flawless. That's definitely worse. That's also worse. Flaming Mustang, that looks better. So let's put that over there. Hatchet fish we don't want. Or a dire unicorn. How about that? We'll so put that over. Cerberus. Mm, I think it looks a little worse. Wyvern. Well, that's already what we got. Well, it's the same. Nocturne Soccer's the same as the mount. Interesting. Brain Beast. A lot of flawless ones. Nice going, Pico. Okay. So now we got to decide. Do we want the Brain Beast? The Darter? Or the Mustang? So these, we both get... These are just about the same. Dare Unicorn and Flaming Mustang. Brain Beast, we get more magic, but everything else is not as good. So we're going to decide which of these is better, Unicorn or Flaming Mustang. And I'm going to do Flaming Mustang. Where is he? What does he look like? I can't see him. There he is. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. I'm happy with that. And he should know some magic. And also, now that he knows magic permanently, we can teach him spells. Oops, wrong spell. I wanted that spell. Alright, Roach King is out of the way. You are poisoned. Worthless plant. It's another Roach King. And that knockback plus the slow is a good combo. Okay, level up. 50 and 75, so we're going to do there. And we're going to do a little more defense magic. Okay. Now, in theory, I should be able to teach my pet uh, summoning spells. So I'll see if that works or not. I'm not sure if he knows skill points, though, you know? Like, he might be able to learn spells, but he might not have the skill points in the specific type of spell to actually be useful. Yeah, our effectiveness in combat went up probably about one and a half to double how good we were once we started employing these Ghost Valkyries. They're very good. Alright, there's a... Whoa! What's going on? Berserk. Rat Kicker. Zurich, we just go super fast. That doesn't seem like. A... I wonder if one of our guys is doing that. Yep, I knew it was gonna come. Well, it's just Nettlethorn. All right. Well, I can focus on these guys in combat. Get up there. Take out Rat Kicker. See, it almost seems like Berserk's supposed to be bad. You gummed Berserk, but, uh... <laughs> well, it definitely helps us out, because everything's fast. Whoa. Summon Draconite Illusion. What is that? There's so much stuff going on, I don't even know. All knows we got Rack kicked or backed into a corner. Oops. I wanted to do... Well, I wanted to do something else, but we can get over here. Start summoning more guys. 
Hopefully I don't get poisoned. I think what it is, everyone goes berserk. Yep. It happened. You have completed the quest. Hmm. That's pretty good. I don't know if it's considerably better than what we have that's worth trading, though. And again, it is slow, so there's that disadvantage there. Oh, yeah, I'm still poisoned. I gotta be careful. In fact, I'll just use an antidote. My pet. Let's, uh, give him that. Oops. I just wanted to put these down. There's some use for that healing charm. Okay. Gors Mazar the Cursed. I suppose there's a little bit of a use for a stamina charm, is if I just want to do my uh, rage attack over and over. Because it does 300 damage. These uh, mummies are fighting the zombies. Let's do my uh, spectral armor spell. I see Gormazar's healing himself. But uh, I think we've got enough on him. Necklace. What's that look like? <laughs> Nothing special. Cracked Aquamar Aquamarine, one percent strength bonus. Pretty, uh, pretty worthless. We need to get our magic back up. Seventy-five. So we need to go there. Hmm. We do a couple more defense. Alright, keep going along the edge like we were doing, and then we'll go get everything in the middle. Not a wood apprentice. For fire weakness, they sure like to use fire, don't they? I'm amazed at just how bad these guys are. There's just some enemies that just aren't good. Light mallet. <laughs> Light mallet. That's funny. Let's, uh,. See what that is. It's a rare item. 50% damage dealt bonus. Hmm. What are we doing on quest? I think we just got the Rokrons, yep. Oh, yeah, and the Hokron Rokron, which uh, I hate. They deal ridiculous amounts of damage. Should probably get a, another one of these going. I can face the Timberwolves. That's not the issue.
Again, Timberwolves are annoying. But beyond that, they're not a real threat. Whereas this mature elite hook, hook run, hook, whatever, you know what I'm talking about, are definitely dangerous. Wrong spell. I thought I had my heal spell out. That could have been dangerous. I don't believe it. There must have been something there I didn't see. <sighs> Fine. It's a wearable, of course. I don't know what these. Oh, yeah, it's a hook run hook rook. Of course, that's what it is. Wearables are already pretty bad. I don't know how that happened, though. Like, I didn't feel like we were in over our heads at, at all. Well, uh, I need to do some more defensive magic. These guys are going to do what they can. Well, if he's, if he's running, that's fine with me. But as long as he's there, we gotta take him out. Because I, I mean, no matter what I do, he's gonna be doing damage. So I'm like one shot away. Okay, well, now that he's gone, I can move out of the way and take a breather. <laughs> so we can heal my guys. Okay. Well, that went south quickly. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I got caught off guard. The thing is, there's just so much stuff going on. You just can't always see everything. Whatever. Keep on moving. I wonder how many times I've died. We can find out. I don't know if I want to know. Let's check. Seven times. That's definitely more than the last game. Where are the rest of my summons? Oops, sorry about that, accidentally reset it. Back in. Oops, I thought I had my primary heal spell. That was a mistake. That thankfully didn't turn bad. But uh, these guys are about to disappear. Alright, so that's all my quests. My pet is fleeing. And someone's still getting me with lightning. Oh yeah, there it is. Well... I don't know what's going on here. Uh, primary heal, let's see. Valor Blade. 
that's probably a rare item, yeah. Not very good. Alright, let's get this uh, invoker. Grand invoker, excuse me. Whoa! Alright, high damage dealt, okay. Again, though. Can't do much against physical contact. Legendary plant. Um, let's see. Do we want to finish out the rest of this? I don't see why not. We can get that, uh... Get that experience we lost from dying. Take a healing charm, thank you. Yes, a fate statue. You know how much I love fate statues. And we will do that once we get out everything in the nearby vicinity. I suppose that's redundant. Oh well. Take out the queen bee. Where is it? I can't attack it. There we go. Elite Iron Might. Yes, more rare items. Interesting. Alright, let's go for it. Two superior emerald gemstones. What do emeralds do? 15% chance of poisonous attack. Interesting. I was not aware that that, that was possible. Well, those should sell for a nice profit, I would think. Um, Alright, let's head back to town. We're getting pretty close. We're about two-thirds done. Or excuse me, three-quarters done, because we need to get to 40. So I guess we're maybe not quite, but we're getting there. You step into the portal. Okay, and we're going to check how much that thing sold for, but we might as well go over a rare item sold. So, let's, uh, go here, identify and sell, identify and sell, identify and sell, 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 and sell. 200,000, yeah, that's got to be better than whatever, um, the quest gives us. Retrieve the gazelle's fist mace, yep. We're going to cancel that. Sell. Um, I should get some better, better gauntlets. Um, okay, bring these over. <laughs> that light hammer. That's funny. This massive mallet. Light mallet is what it says. Goodbye. It's going to sell for a lot, though. Well, I was wrong. That's not much at all. That's quite a bit, though. 55, that's probably better than what we have. 20% ploof chance of block. 27% defense. Let's see where we are without the 17 magic bonus. 83, that's still good, right? I think so. All right, we're going to put that on. Sell this. And we got an upgrade. Electrical resistance. Who knows when I would need that. Um, anything worth buying here? I need a major group heal spell, but not that. Okay. So let's get our quest rewards.
Journeyman student's cap of the chivalrous. Um, we need to buy another book. Okay. And while we're at it, we'll just buy new one of these. Alright. I still have not found an identify spell, which is actually kind of funny. I wonder if they have different spells depending on which uh, outpost you're in. I still don't know what this is. Let's buy it. Actually, let's buy the Druin, because that's where we are. Right click to use. What's it doing? Maybe. Maybe, um, does a portal to the other place. Ah. I see. So we can teleport between the two places. Interesting. Well, seeing as I haven't been to uh, Typhon yet, I don't know if there's any use for these. I suppose I could just go to Typhon for no reason. And get back to Druantia. Hmm. Well, maybe I will consider that. We'll sell both of these because I don't need them. We could take a gander out to Typhon. Great Mall. For once, I can afford everything here. I don't know if that's ever happened. Harpoon. I don't know if there's anything I need, though. 51, 130, completely much better, but not the strength I've got right now. Um... Yeah. Again, we're in that weird transition phase. Oh, wait. This is going to be better than what I've got. 4% improved chance, 25% vitality. So, yeah. The thing is... Oh, man. Shoot, this is so good, though. In fact, I might not be able to wear it. Yeah, that's the thing. So, that's going to be going into my chest. It's not thinking ahead. Okay, well, let's uh, use the... Uh, well, let's get some... Well, actually, yeah, let's just use the port the medallion. Typhon portal medallion. Yes. We haven't been to Typhon yet. Alright, here we are in Typhon, and we can see it's completely different. It's, um... Well, it's an ice place. You can go some ice fishing, of course. Uh, and it's very different. Even the portal looks a little bit different. So yeah, this is a new place. Um, I don't know if I really want to explore it right now. But maybe that's what we'll do in the next episode. Since we're here, we might as well take a shot in Typhon and see what the Typhon's like. Um, I think for now, though, I'm going to go and end the episode here. And uh, I will see you guys next time when we might take a look at what Typhon is. Alright, have a great day. I'll see you guys later.